Uh, taking my tattoo should not be a bad thing. But how I wish it could be a as, normal thing. A, a normal thing you'd want. Because you're walk. jealous. You just walk in you and sit down. Si kuringa. And immediately you just I just yeah. walk into my tattoo. I've tried it like uh, three times now. Mm -hmm. It gets crazy. It gets crazy. Yeah. And even now the comfort that you wanted, the experience is lost yeah. into celebrating your moment Completely. with the fun. Completely. Which is okay. Not that na si, hanging out na with si the kuringa. Si kuringa, but even you you having over 50 people by the way that's why i love going to malindi you know why mm -hmm. during uh the break time mm -hmm. you know why mm -hmm. i can get into a tuk tuk oh anytime. and drive around uh, in a tuk 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 even mombasa anytime you know anytime and anytime. you feel oh man at least you know you're chilling you're in your shorts you're in your glasses and you are and you are crocs and you <laughs> yeah. i and promise crocs. you a pair of crocs yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm still waiting but it's okay mm. it's all right miss out I'll be, I'll be, you know, there's always 2018. Tell me yeah. you're telling us me the story of the reader. But just told me, no, not read <laughs> <laughs> That is a story that I, I can't wait for <laughs> because I've promised myself. Uh. Uh, that you are going. I will go for that. What dates are the read dance? Is it yearly? Um, yeah, it's every year. Uh -huh. It's every year. So do I spring do time. Do actually go? Not really. It's not mm. a tourist event. Huh? No. The, no, you can't see, you know, like foreigners coming to watch this. It's 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 very uh, traditional. It's very local. Local. And I think will they allow me to get in? Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you're invited by the king or the king's council. Hey, he? mm. So it's just not a case of going to feed my eyes. You don't go like you're going to the Nairobi National Park to watch uh, oh, rhinos. The, uh, hey. No, 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 no. I just want to feed my eyes to the spectacularness yeah, of. Go, yeah, go to the hub for that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get to my story or you're going to hijack do. it? Please do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to feed your eyes, Kwenda Uko. Anyway. <laughs> One day, when we were uh, traveling deep in Liberia during the Civil War, you know, Liberia suffered a horrific civil war. <laughs> Where more than 250,000 people were killed. They Don't have run. a by election coming uh, up next month. Yes, next month. December 26th. Opongwe. Jong Opong. So, in the meantime, the civil war was horrific. It was uh, ravaging. And I told you about the boy soldiers before, right? SBU, small boys unit. I told you about General Butt Naked. Remember? And you also told me about, about the long short sleeves. sleeves the sleeves. long sleeves. Right. These mm -hmm. kids, I mean, they were just crazy and it's because of the drugs that they took or they were forced to take and the kind because kids are amenable you know you give them something they do it and they do it you know crazily they take it to another level religiously where there was roadblocks where they stop cars and you know they just kill everybody in the car because the, uh, the they suspect something whatever it was so anyway one day we were trudging trudging through the forest the jungles of Liberia with a group of uh, child soldiers, if you will, you know, young young boys. Everyone from a guy called Terminator was uh, was in command. Then there was another guy called um, uh, General uh, General Three Guns. You know, they had crazy funny names. We've got another guy called Cuckoo Dennis. Did I? I mm, think you I told me about Cuckoo Dennis. So anyway, we're walking through the jungles, and there's this one kid. Maybe he was about nine years old. He's carrying a gunia, a sack. He's got his AK-47 and he has a sack on his back. We're walking, walking. Every time we'd stop, because, you know, in the jungle, you, you get tired. Eh? Every time we stop, he would stop and just guard his little gunia. And I noticed that, you know, he wouldn't let anybody else near the gunia. That's all he did was walk, carry it, AK-47. Walked, 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 walked all day long, all day exhausted we hadn't eaten anything finally we get to the camp where they were going and this kid goes way to the side he puts his sack down and he just collapses with exhaustion collapses as he collapses the gunia opens up out of the gunia just see human heads rolling out human heads out of the gunia and i looked at them and i looked at the other guys because they noticed the shock in my eyes and I said, what, what, what is this about? And the guy said, ah, oh, my man, my man, don't worry, my man, that's nothing, it's nothing. So he said, they were explaining. For this kid to grow up in the ranks of this small boy's unit, he's got to cut people's heads off. 
and that gunia full of heads was an indication of his rank as he's climbing up. The total, I couldn't even comprehend because I said, you know what, who will be next if he wants to climb up more? I'm not one of them. I, I, could, be, I could be next any time. And I, tr and I tried to understand what is it about these people that had turned them into animals that now they're competing. It's like another guy. They said, okay, one guy uh, fills a sack with heads. Another one fills a sack with arms. You know the short sleeve, long sleeve? You fill a whole gunia. This is how you're going to, at the end, you're going to calculate and see who has more. Can you imagine the sheer madness of a nation? This is the same nation. This, we're talking about 90s, eh? Because Charles Taylor started his uh, mission in 1989, Christmas 89. So throughout the 90s, it was just war. Most of the 90s, until he got elected in 1997. But most of the 90s, imagine a whole generation of Liberians completely destroyed. Right? And this was what? 97 was 20 years ago. 20 years later, these are the same people now going to vote. How much of a gap? How much have you wow. healed a nation in 20 years? Same people now are going to vote for either George Weah or uh, the current vice president. I'm telling you, when a society breaks down, it breaks down. I keep saying, when you go down that road, you never come back. There's no coming back. There's no coming back. And that's why I say we always have to keep talking. Because the moment we stop talking is it's the moment, moment we start fighting. fighting. And you do not want to go down that slippery slope. Liberia what? opened up my eyes, man. It opened my like I've never. And it's a country which I was so, so close to. I was so, I, I loved the country, the people, fantastic. But those same people turned into animals literally overnight and were destroying, killing, maiming looting, raping, burning their own country. Imagine. Think about it. What? That's what we call a story a day. A story a day. Only on, Only on Hot 96. 96.